my god. Oh! Hello, I'm Curious, and this is a bit of a weird video. I've been debating whether to actually put this up for the past couple weeks. Um, I filmed a bit of myself on the way to Enwar on that nine hour drive, and then I also filmed my exhausted self giving my impressions on the event as I got home. Um, it's kind of an interesting look into my mental state before and after end war. So if a cringy descent into madness followed by 20 minutes of exhausted rambling sounds good to you, then stay tuned. Otherwise, feel free to skip this video, and I'll see you in the next one with something cool. So for those of you skipping this video, the short version is that end war was awesome, and thank you to all the people that made it happen. The SCNC is full of the best damn people I've ever met, and I love them all. And nine hours of driving by yourself really sucks. That's pretty much it. Well, against my better judgment, I'm putting it up on YouTube. I hope you enjoy whatever the hell this is. And I'll see you in the next video, where we take a closer look at this thing. Now I have to find my glasses. So I've got six hours left on this hellish trip to Enwar. The sky does not like me. And I'm bored out of my mind, so I figured I'd try this vlogging thing. Oh my god, it's Carius' face! As if... I wasn't already all over the SCNC group, but oh well. Of course it's been raining the entire time. And the traffic sucks. And Google just told me to stay on this road for 120 miles. So, fun! Got all my shit in the back. And in the trunk. Really looking forward to it, but another six hours of this crap is gonna be kind of rough. Making the long ass eight and a half hour drive from Hazel Green, Alabama to Athens, Ohio. Just me and my big bag of shit. Crippling loneliness! It is I, the Great Papyrus! Would you like to try some of my spaghetti? Well, welcome to the Carrius Cup Holder. It's three hours in, I'm in Kentucky. It's still raining, a lot. I'm doing lots of karaoke to keep myself sane, because I don't have anybody to bullshit with. When I drove down to Mobile, I was with Steven, the TK1138 on YouTube, and that went by like it was nothing. It's a six hour drive. This is eight hours with nobody to talk to and we'll see how much of my sanity is left by the end of it. Never mind, I'll find someone like you and I wish nothing but the best for you too. <laughs> but I really gotta pee. stop in Kentucky. Kinda soaked. Cause it is still raining. Why? I can't hear that song without thinking about the Swedish chef. I'm gonna go insane by the time I'm done with this drive. Halfway there. Still mostly sane. Why is 
so much rain! Why? Why does the sky hate me? Only three and a half hours left. Now I just have to pretend that the last five hours didn't happen and I'm just driving to SCNC. That works. No, oh, I could throw you in the lake of fish you. Poison bed day kick, not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. Oh, I could bury you alive, but you might crawl out with a knife and kill me while I'm sleeping. That's why I can't decide whether you should live or die. Though no, you'll probably go to heaven, please don't hang your head and cry. No wonder why my heart feels dead inside. It's cold and hot and petrified. Lock the doors and close the blinds. We're going for a ride. I've been driving for 350 miles, and it's still raining. Now, ah! Rain! Why, all the doors are closed, so you can open one that leads you to the perfect road. I don't know the words. Got to ignite the light and let it shine just on the night like the 4th of July. Cause baby, you're a firework. Come on, show them what you're worth. Make them go uh, uh, uh. As you shoot across the sky <laughs> This is never gonna make it to YouTube So I've now driven over 500 miles I'm in Ohio, it's getting dark There's the sunset in front of me I only got 15 minutes left till I get to the hotel Thank God This has been the longest it's been the longest drive I've ever done by by five hours. <laughs> and I'm glad it's almost over. Oh, time for end war. God. I just drove past a double rainbow that was indeed all the way across the sky. Finally get something after friggin' eight hours of rain. It's still raining, by the way. 500 miles of rain. And rain, and more rain. I don't see how it can rain all the way from North Alabama to Ohio. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Hopefully the next time you see me will be at Endor or driving home from Endor, depending on if I decide to film anything. Glasses are crooked. Now they're good. So, I'm back from Endor. Holy shit. That was a hell of a weekend. It's a great event. It was great people. PhoneCon was a blast. I got to goof around just walking to, from booth to booth, just handing people the Discord just so they can try it out. And bringing out the Max Launcher, shooting Mega Darts into the center of the room, watching everybody's head turn and go, what the fuck was that? It was pretty great. The event was okay. Some of the missions were pretty poorly designed and a lot of weird shit happened. Somebody broke their arm, somebody had a concussion because I mean you're going to have problems like that with that many people running around in the dark in that kind of terrain but it was kind of rough I had a couple cheating zombies but overall it was pretty good the the main thing that made the weekend so great though is the people I was with um, at the last second I joined spam squad which is um, with spam of course but then there's um, radio 
and Strawberry and um, Master Chef and Aaron from SCNC. And holy shit, that, that was, it was great running with those guys. Stayed in the hotel with them. Had marshmallows in a, over a campfire with them. Went swimming with them. Just basically just lived with them with, for three days. And I, I couldn't have picked a better group of people to stay with. Um, got some, some new really good friends. And it was just crazy. I am so tired. I burn my mind is just my mind is just an overload I'm trying to process the last five days. It's been insane in the best possible way. There's a lot of firsts for me this weekend. I mean sure HVZ was fun and I was the last human alive. Oddly enough, I brought the Discord out for the final stand and managed to make a break for it on the last boat that went across the moat. Made it through like 30 zombies just spraying balls everywhere. Ran up the stairs like an idiot because they said the pressure plate was on top of the stairs, so I ran up all the way up to the balcony of the building and realized the pressure plate was on the ground floor. So the mods brought me back down, I was given 10 seconds to get ready, and then the zombies charged at me. I took out a couple of them, Discord's out of ammo, I get tagged. But I was the last human alive, which was crazy. So, representing SCNC and Spam Squad and making everybody proud. And um, then the awards happened, FDL gets Coolest Blaster, which was cool. He deserves it. Um, and then Steven got Most Valuable Brain, which he really deserves. He's awesome. And Most Valuable Brain also was awarded the Grail. And and I'm sitting here like, oh, I was the last human, but I didn't get anything. That's kind of weird. But, oh well. Um, I, was, I was just thrilled that I had a cool moment, you know. But um, the SCNC guys gathered up outside the um, briefing room. And Steven... And Chicken and Drac and all the, all the, all my friends, you know, presented me with the Grails and like, you you held it to the last man and you had the you were on the pressure plate and all this cool shit and handed me the Grail and it, it made my day. It was <sighs> you guys are fantastic. I look forward to seeing you guys at SCNC in a couple of weeks and I really look forward to the next end war well, where I will be running with Spam Squad again whoever makes it, hopefully all of them I intend on actually being a zombie next time for a good bit of it though because I wanted to be a zombie this time but it just didn't happen and then on the final stand when I had a chance to run for it I did and it was like oh <laughs> by the time I got taken out I realized I look across the field and there were no humans left <laughs> Yeah, so that was cool. Made my first good friends in 15 years. Drank my first alcohol. Had my first encounter with ghost peppers. <laughs> I, I, at first, we were at Buffalo Wild Wings, and Stephen ordered a bunch of blazing sauce well, wings, which is their standard hottest thing on the menu. You know, they had some kind of um, scorpion pepper stuff, limited time, that's supposed to be hotter, but who cares. Um, and Steven's eating these things, he's tearing up and hamming it up and, you know, just kind of punishing himself. And people, people around the table start grabbing wings from, from his thing and, and trying the ghost pepper crap. And I'm sitting there like, I'm a complete wimp when it comes to spicy food. But it's like, I, I want to give it a try. Why not? And surprisingly, I, I handled it. I handled it better than anybody else at the table, until I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is good. My nose is running, my mouth's on fire, but I'm okay. And then my stomach's like, no, you're not okay. <laughs> and I had to run to the bathroom and puke that all up and uneat my dinner. So, but then I was fine. It was weird. So that was fun. And we all drank 
out of the grail in celebration. There were a couple hundred age people at the table, so of course, um, it was a like a raspberry limeade or something. It wasn't alcoholic. But then once I get back to the hotel with Spam Squad, um, we've got some moonshine, and I've never drank before. And but I I was I felt so comfortable with these people, and I'd become so such good friends with them over the weekend that it was like you know what, I'm gonna have my first alcohol ever with these guys, and I don't regret it, you know. I mean, there's a lot that I'll do differently in the next HVC. My loadout was kind of lame. Um, the blaster worked okay, and uh, but I, I had more fun with the blowgun. And then the Discord was fantastic at the end, but it's still too too expensive to feed a 500 round hopper monstrosity for two days straight. So I have to rethink things. I think actually on the last mission I did the demolisher. I think a wire got in front of the pusher. I haven't opened it up yet, but the um, it, it was jamming up and having a lot of trouble. And with as many wires as I have crisscrossing through that thing, it wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened. Um, yeah, the whole thing was great. Had a lot of good time. Summerlin and Drew and Michael and Aaron and Chris, all of whom are fantastic, and I would... I could... I really couldn't have picked a better group of people to join at the last second. And I wish I had joined them sooner because I could have driven up with them and not made an eight and a half hour drive by myself. Which you'll probably... This this video probably starts with some clips of me going insane in the car for nine hours. Singing Katy Perry and shit, but... I didn't have to drive back alone. Michael's house is two hours from my house, so... I drove with Summerlin down there and... And then drove home only two hours instead of eight and a half hours, which was great. So I made some really good friends, got some new people to play video games with, which is cool. And it's too soon to say, but something else big happened at End War. And it's going to be a life changer. whole weekend was life-changing really I've been I've been kind of stuck doing nothing with my life for a long time now and I'm sick of it it's really showed me I need to get out and really pursue my dreams whatever those may be and stop just coasting through life I'm, I'm done with that so Thanks, Drac, for hosting this event and for starting the SCNC in the first place. It's really, in, a, in, a, in an odd way, I owe my life to you. And Chicken and Nom and Tag Squad and Spam Squad and everybody at the SCNC. You're all fantastic. I look forward to seeing you every month until, I don't know. Till I'm dead, hopefully. You know, I'm. I don't plan on. I don't plan on going anywhere. I fucking love this stuff. I'm so glad I got back in. I'm so glad I met all you people. So to everybody in the SCNC and Spam Squad, especially. I had a blast with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next war. Or sooner with some of you. I got some plans with Spam Squad. These guys are too, too awesome to only see once a month. Chris, thanks for everything you do for the SCNC. You were out there with the flag and a blaster, being the, the battle battle standard, for the group, and out there like a space marine. And Michael was like the the pillar, the the central core of the of Spam Squad. He was the guy that everybody looked for to regroup, you know. You see, you got the tall guy with the cowboy hat, and it's like, all right, I got separated from Scam Squad, where's Michael? And he was always, he was always kind of positioning himself in the center of all the Spam Squad members so that we could all find each other, and that worked out pretty good. Aaron was always covering the back. 
the nemesis. Nobody really snuck up behind us while he was there. You know, we had Summerlin on the objectives, babysitting the princess. Just being honest, she had a she had a really cool final stand at the last mission too, where she got across on the boat before me and just booked it, taking out zombies like Gunkata style with her strife as they chased her, and and then they finally got her, but and uh. And of course Drew, who, who who overexerted himself on the first day. It was hot, and he he was he was this close to heat stroke, so he he kind of took himself out of the game, played it safe, and then rejoined us the second day as as the SCNC press corps and radio himself. You know he um, he spent the rest of N War taking pictures and documenting things and just being an awesome guy as usual. That was funny. The last person to try to tag me before I got to the pressure plate was Summerlin, because she had just be turn been turned into a zombie on the previous boat before me, and I was like, "Oh wait, you're over here. You're okay. Oh shit, you're a zombie." <laughs> and, and and like everybody else faced with the Discord in front of them, just kind of like, I, I don't even think I hit her with it. She just kind of flinched and backed up, and I kept running. <laughs> Uh, it's lucky me. If she would have grabbed me, I wouldn't have been the last person standing. Been the SCNC hero with the grail, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And, of course, I have the grail. Signed by all my friends at SCNC who made it there. We didn't get Sparkle Squad, unfortunately. They were already gone, but... We got Tax Squad and Spam Squad and Drac and Chicken and Project FDL and and me, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's just a plastic cup that's been painted gold, but there's a lot of memories attached to this thing now. It means a lot. So many things changed for me this weekend. I've got a lot to do with my life. To, my life needs a complete overhaul. I'm realizing now. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Move into my own place. Spend more time with my friends. Try to turn this hobby into something that can support me. Because it's always been my dream. And maybe a few other things are on the, along the way. Because it's, it's too soon to say, but... I found something this weekend that I've been looking for for a very long time. Something that I didn't think I'd ever find. I'd given up. And if things work out the way I hope they will, then Endor really kick-started the rest of my life. And I can't thank all you guys enough. Look forward to seeing you again. Till then, this has been Carius reminding you to have fun.